Wow, you have come to the final part, part 12 of our 2023 business plan for real estate agents. Congratulations. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, yes, we have this amazing workbook for 2023 for real estate pros out there that really want to build an extraordinary, exceptional and really unstoppable year. So if you want, you can download this here in the link below. Just go to the link, download this workbook for free and start filling it in. And we already come to the last part. If you have not seen any episodes yet before, just go to part number one of this series and then it will help you to fill up this complete workbook. And now we have come to part number 12 and this part number 12 is my marketing checklist, a very important part that I want to take you through right now. So let's get started. So previously we have talked about, of course, the lead generation strategies, right? The 10 times 10 lead generation strategies that you can see in a few episodes before this. But now I want to finalize it with your marketing checklist, right? This is the marketing checklist that you really want to commit yourself to of the marketing activities that you want to set yourself up for next year. So how does that look? It looks a little bit like this, right? So first of all, you have lead activities, you have brand activities, and you have business building activities. So after you have worked on this complete plan, the marketing checklist is kind of asking you, what are these marketing activities you want to commit to? And marketing is really like the leads, the brand, and eventually the business building activities. So let's go first to the lead part. That is the top chart here. And on the left side, we have given you some examples. Again, these are our examples. You don't have to copy those. You just have to fill in on the right part, what are the lead activities that you want to commit to? And you can go back a few pages where you go to the 10 times 10 lead generation where you came up with some ideas but now these ideas you want to transform into commitments. These are the things that you really want to start implementing. So what are the lead activities? Things that will generate you more leads. And we have written down portal one, two, Facebook advertising, Google advertising, network conferences, cold calling. Again, these are all our examples, but hopefully they can inspire you to give you a few examples. But before you write down anything, you first have to promise yourself, whatever you write down here, this is going to be a daily activity for you. You're going to make sure that these lead generation activities are going to be part of your daily activities. So if you write something down like cold calling, but you tell yourself, well, that's not really something that I think I will go do, you don't write it down. But if you say, yes, I'm gonna do really 15 to 20 to 25 cold calls every single day, you write it down as a lead generation activity, okay? So first, before we go to the rest, I want you to work on this first, write down at least somewhere between the five to 10 lead generation activities that you are going to commit yourself to for 2023. Pause the video, go ahead, fill that up first, and then come back, then we go to the brand building activities. Go ahead. Yes, have you done it? Promised? Promised, promised. Yeah, okay, very good, very good. I know that you have done it very well, good, good job. Now we go to the brand activities. So these are not so much related to the leads bringing in, but this is more your face going out there and building your brand, right? So that people recognize you for being a specialist in the area. So what are some of the brand building activities that you wanna do? Again, we have given you some examples. Maybe you wanna put a billboard out there you, maybe you want to start a YouTube channel like I'm doing here right now that will definitely give you some recognition as a specialist. Maybe you want to send out a weekly newsletter to build up your brand. Maybe you want to do a Facebook awareness campaign, maybe a TikTok story series, speaking at an event, whatever can contribute in you building your brand, your positioning. Because the stronger your brand, the more you will get that back into your business because people will really start recognizing you as a specialist and as an expert. The best thing that I can tell you can invest your time in is in building that brand because it's also related to leads. The stronger the brand, the lower the cost of leads. Remember that, the stronger the brand, the lower the cost of leads. And the final thing that you can start looking into is the business building activities. Business building activities are the building activities that can contribute in building a stronger business. So that means that the foundation of your business gets stronger, stronger, stronger every single day. 
So I have examples like building a strong CRM. So that means centralizing your data in a good CRM and using that CRM to really build the relationships with your database. Role playing four times a week, that can really build your business. If you commit yourself in four role plays every week, you find a role play partner and every time you do role playing, that will contribute in building a stronger business. Having a real estate coach doesn't have to be me. Any real estate coach, a mentor, maybe in your team that can contribute in building your business. Follow four trainings a year, big trainings, right? Read 12 books a year. Like I said, we put some examples for you here. So write down for yourself, what are some of the core building activities? And again, I want to remind you, whatever you write down there, that is a promise to yourself. Don't write there anything that you cannot commit to because this is really the promise that you make in this final part 12. You have worked on the complete business planning for 2023 and part 12 is the final piece. And these are all of the commitments that you are going to make to yourself and that you will come back to every single time when every quarter you kind of reevaluate yourself, you're gonna look at this page and tell yourself, have I really committed that I promised to myself at the beginning of this year? At the end of the day, goals are just goals if you write them down but they become commitments and they become reality if you take real action on them. So whatever you write down, make sure that once you write them down, you tell yourself, listen, this is a promise to myself that I have to keep. This is an action that I have to do. A lot of people are dependent on me and I'm going to make this work. And do that for the lead generation activities, do that for the brand building activities, and do that for the business building activities. Write them down and make sure that you get started on them right away. Very fun exercise to do. And of course, a big reality check to yourself all in the My 2023 Real Estate Business Plan for Real Estate Pros. And this brings us to the last episode for this session today. I really, really hope you enjoyed all the parts and hopefully you can review them a couple of times. Let me know what you thought of the business plan, if it helped you, if you were able to fill up the full business plan. And I'm really looking forward into see you grow in 2023. And you know that Prop Coach will always be here for you. We will do a lot more episodes in 2023, but for now, you got your business plan ready to get started, to make yourself a unstoppable and an exceptional 2023. Thank you so much for following this whole series. It was a great pleasure doing this for you. And I'm looking forward to see you again at one of the following trainings here at Prop Coach. See you next time. Bye.